Welcome PML fans, I'm your host Joe's Moore here and I'm going to be talking a little bit softer today because it is midnight uh, when I'm recording this. Um, this is week 6 of the PML draft. We are well out of playoff contention, but we are hoping we can still, you know, do something. So, we are battling Ryan, he's doing pretty decent in the league. So, uh, maybe we get a knock chance to knock them out of playoffs. Maybe not. This is the second rain team we're playing. This one's not as hard as the other rain team. So, uh, let's try not to play sloppily like we did last time. And uh, good luck. Have fun to Ryan. I'm predicting a Whimsicott lead. And, yeah, Raichu figured. So, Raichu... And there we go. So Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell, and Charizard. I'm gonna go for the Tailwind. I should have Protect on Charizard, so I can't get faked out. And I do have Wakanberry, so I'll live any. Um, I will live any. What do you call? I will live any electric attack that he decides to go for. Alright, so I'm assuming they're trying the switcheroo set here on us. So I'm going to go Moonblast into Raichu. Maybe the eject button. So I'm going to go for Franklin here. Oh, I didn't put a move on Franklin. I, missed, I forgot to put Heat Wave. Oh, great. So, I already put myself at a disadvantage. Fun, fun in the sun. So, I'm guessing this is the eject button. Oh, choice scarf. Very interesting play there. But there we go. Raichu gets knocked down a peg. Lowers its uh, attack stat a little. I mean speed a little bit. Of course it gets a critical hit on Tinkerbell. Why not? Um, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Moonblast again into Raichu. Lower that attack stat by one more. And I'm just going to click Stealth Rock since I can't click Heat Wave. So at least I get some passive damage on this thing. So Raichu should... Oh no, Raichu's not faster. We get another Moonblast off. And doesn't quite take it out, but Volt Switch does go off into Tinkerbell. And we'll get up our Stealth Rocks. So at least that Raichu's dead on the switch in. So one less Pokemon we gotta worry about. Alright, so Pelipper comes in. Which is very fair. And we get Stealth Rocks up on their side. So like I said, Raichu won't be a problem anymore. Uh, I'm going to go Moonblast into Whimsicott. No, not Whimsicott. I'm going to go Moonblast into Pelipper once again. Switch out Franklin into Hamtoro. Okay, he goes Seismitoad here. So he's probably going to max Seismitoad here as well. All right, so Moonblast is going to go off into Pelipper. Good chunk, too. And Hurricane goes off. Which is very fine. So even without this, the rain, their tailwind is still up. But it should be fine. I'm going to go back into Franklin, get the sun up. That means he'll be forced to switch Pelipper if he wants to keep that thing healthy. 
So solar beam there and I don't want to risk uh, the tailwind still being faster than more Pico, so I'm going to protect. But we do have seed bomb for that seismitoad. He might just max it here. Okay, so Pelipper does leave. Raichu comes in, it's going to go down. So Torkoal gets one kill, can it get another? Here we go, Hamtaro goes Protect, Earthquake, Seismitoad, Spread Damage, uh, Torkoal should live this. We are pretty high health. Oh, easily. And let's see if Seismitoad goes down to this Solar Beam here. It should. Alright, Solar Beam goes off. And Torkoal with two kills back to back. So now he does no longer have a rain abuser. Raichu's gone, so no Volt Absorber. Or, uh, sorry, not Volt Absorb. Uh, Lightning Rod user. So what does he go to here? Okay, so Kartana, very fair play. So Pelipper comes back out. Ooh, takes rock damage. Okay, I think their Tailwind just petered out. I am going to go... Roche into Franklin's spot. And I'm going to go Rafflesia Rofl Flower into Hamturo's spot. Wow, so Hamturo's the fastest Pokemon on the field, uh, switch wise. So Ferrero Roche is <laughs> on the field. Very fancy. Sacred Sword into. Reflesia, which is fine. Weather Ball into Roche. Takes us down to the Sash. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, what's coming in now? Not sure what's coming in. Um, we should be faster than Kartana. I'm going to go for the Electro Web. And I am going to go for the What do I go for? I'm going to go for the sleep powder into the Pelipper spot. Just in case it stays in. Doubt it though. Oh wait, that was a stupid move. Alright, so Pelipper goes down so we don't have to worry about rain anymore. Kartana's speed gets lowered. Uh, does he cycle cut into vile plume? Because that could be a problem. Smart strike. Okay. That's fine. Oh, not so fine. Alright, so Ferrothorn is here. We're going to go for another Electro Web. No, you know what? Let's go for the close combat onto Ferrothorn. And let's go to Franklin to get the sun back up. Probably going to die here, but that's fine. Can't really touch anything else on his team. All right, Ferrothorn goes Protect. So, fair. What does Cartana do? Smart strike into, yeah, into Roche, which is good. That's fine. We're trying to get the beast boost. And now Undertaker could pretty much run the rest of the game from here.
I'm going to go ahead and go for the Heat Wave. He can't Dynamax either of these, I don't believe. And I'm going to have to go for the Solar Beam into Ferrothorn. So hopefully Heat Wave is enough to take out this Ferrothorn. Oh, it can Dynamax. Okay. It must be tier 3 or below. But can Heat Wave knock it out? We are in the sun. We are solar power boosted. And it does. Double KO for Charizard. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we still have our Dynamax. So we finally get rid of Solar Beam. Solar Beam Thorkel. And of course, Solar Power is going to take some health from us. Alright, Whimsicott, I believe, is the last Pokemon they have. So I'm just going to go for the Air Slash. And Solar Beam. I mean... It's only I don't have heat wave. And we get our second win of the season in week six. <laughs> horrible, horrible season we're having, but at least we get a win here. GG Ryan, and we will see you guys pretty soon because we started another league as well. So we will see you then.